how's it going? My name is Bethany and if you don't know me, I'm the owner of Bethany Alice, where I work with women to alter and upcycle pieces so that they can become something that is a true extension of who they are and fit their body just as they are as well, all from what's already hanging in their wardrobe. So if you'd like to find out more about me, you can head to my website. Um, but today's video, I wanted to talk about the infamous worst dressed lists. And that's very rough right now because we are in the middle of award season. And I had this idea of going through those worst dressed lists and redesigning some of those looks that have made it onto that list. So I just want to preface as well that I really believe that style and how you want to dress yourself is really objective to the individual. Um, I also don't know what the celebrities needs were in terms of what they were looking for or um, the parameters around what they're allowed to wear from certain designers. They might not have a big say in it, um, but I'm just taking this as a bit of a creative exercise. So if um, these worst dress lists looks were on your best dress, that's totally fine. Um, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I just thought it would be a really fun creative exercise to play around with today. And so you can get an idea as well. If you have some pieces that you don't like, just a few ideas of how you could change it to make it something that you like a little bit more and maybe some things to keep in mind that might spring out to you in terms of like what's needed for your body shape so hopefully it inspires you a little bit but let's get started all right so the first one that we have is sarah paulson and the look that she was wearing to the 2022 emmys red carpet um, it's a very out there kind of piece i really i love the color navy is absolutely gorgeous but something that got me um, not really loving this look was just the way the proportions were sitting on her. I do love the solid structure of the shoulders and the sort of like flounciness of that centerpiece on the skirt, but I just think it wasn't hitting sort of in the best places possible. So as an alternative and how could we design it is to sort of break it up a little bit more and give her a bit more shape. So still keeping the structure of the top with the big shoulders, but instead of it being one solid piece, I broke it up into inset um, sleeves. So that give a little bit more shape around the bodice. It's still creating that really strong shape along the shoulders. So it's tailored a little bit and still leaving it a little bit loose around the waist. So you're still getting this boxy kind of silhouette, but it's just slightly more tailored and a little bit in more proportion to her top and it's not adding like too much weight to her frame as well and then i also just wanted to move that flounce detail from the widest part of her hips just a little bit lower down beneath it to sort of where it comes in around your knees just to sort of again create this more of an hourglass shape and to make it a little bit more tailored so this is a big thing that i'll probably talk about throughout the video is just sort of like reshaping those um proportions to hit in the best places possible so um, yeah, I think she could have gotten away with this being a little bit more tailored, a little bit more sexy, but I do love the overall concept of it, so that's how I would fix that one up a little bit. Okay, so the next one is Anna Gastia, I hope I'm saying that right, and that was from the 2002 People's Choice Awards red carpet. Uh, now this one, again, it's... I don't think it's that bad. It's just those tiny little things, again, relating to the proportions that I would change to get it better to her specific body shape. So in terms of the neckline, um, it is quite solid. And I think I'd like to soften that a little bit on her. So instead of creating that round neckline, I more so wanted that to be more of a wrap kind of style and creating more of a sweetheart neckline around her bust. Um, and also tailoring the top a little bit more. Um, because by having that square neckline and the big sleeves, it's all hitting across the bust at one point and making that sort of a little bit bigger unnecessarily. So by having it wrap over, it's just a little bit softer on her bust. And then I would continue it through and make it more of a wrap style skirt instead of this solid pencil skirt, which hits around her mid calf area, which is sort of cutting her off in sort of not the right area and is probably making her look a little bit shorter than she actually is. So by having this wrap kind of skirt and it being a little bit tailored towards the bottom and sort of a little bit shorter at the front and a bit longer at the back, it's creating a little bit more length in her silhouette and it's just elongating, elongating it altogether and just making it look over a little bit flat, flattering. And I would also add a waistband um, around just to break up those proportions as well and to create more of a waistline as a focal point in the silhouette. 
Um, so again, we're sort of creating that hourglass shape and giving her a little bit of length um, just to break up that boxiness that was originally in that first design. So, but I still love the fabric on her and the color is really gorgeous. So that will be a few things that I change around for that one. All right, so the next one is Shay Mitchell, and this was on the 2022 Fashion Awards red carpet. So I love, I think I love this look in theory. There's a lot of elements to it that I really love. The color is gorgeous. It's very striking, but it is a lot going on. And I think I probably in my style of designing refer back to Coco Chanel, which always used to say, take one thing away before you leave the room. So I'd want to just sort of simplify it down a little bit more. And particularly like I'm not really loving where this hemline is hitting on her around this ankle length. It can be very awkward, especially when there's so much volume going on around the hips. The, again, the proportions just aren't quite right. So I would love to change it to something that's a little bit more streamlined, a little bit more fitted, and to keep this sort of fitted straight skirt underneath is the base and to chuck a split in it to open up that silhouette a little bit more. And then I almost want to use just sort of like one half of all that ruffling detail on one side of the dress and maybe a few layers taken out and then around the hemline that fabric really extended out to the side so it's sort of creating like this unique half train kind of look and still has that bit of drama to it because it definitely has a lot of drama in this look um, but I think it's just a little bit more flattering as well and then to sort of balance out everything that's happening on one side I love to have a sheer kind of chiffon kind of fabric on the opposite side draping across the bust and over the shoulder and then down to the floor as well just to create a little bit of balance between both of those um, design elements and so you still have a bit of drama but it's a little bit more elegant and goddess like because she's just absolutely gorgeous and I think would just even out those proportions a little bit as well so but like I said the color is gorgeous and I really love the black bra detail underneath it as well so I'd love to tie in a waistband of that kind of similar fabric just to tie in that design and I went a little bit more so yeah that's that one all right so next we have Natasha Rothwell and this was the 2022 Emmys red carpet and I love I really do love the drama of this look there's a lot going on the fabric looks really, really interesting, but the one thing I do think about this is it's sort of unnecessarily adding extra volume because of how much fabric there is. So what I would do was create more of a fitted silhouette underneath and then have more of an overskirt. So I love the deep V on her. I think that's really gorgeous, but I think what I'd love to see is actually for the neckline to come up her neck a little bit more like this collar. And that's just going to like elongate the silhouette as well and create a bit more power to it. I think by having this color kind of feature and then I'd like to even extend the sleeves all the way down to the wrists, still having this beautiful volume to it, maybe a little bit less, but creating it all the way down to the wrist because when it's big around the top, again, it's creating all this volume in one space and it's making that look bigger than it doesn't need to be. So creating a little bit of length by adding sleeves, a really fitted skirt underneath. Um, this is really good. I always find that some people who are more plus size feel like they can't wear fitted. Um, but honestly, I think fitted suits them really, really well, particularly if you already have that beautiful hourglass shape. It's really, really flattering. And if it's done in a really good, supportive, comfortable fabric where you feel like nothing's showing, it's really, really flattering. So I'd love to do something like this in this design and still having that beautiful volume of that A-line kind of skirt, but more as an overskirt detail that sort of opens up towards the side so you can see this beautiful fitted silhouette underneath. So I still love the drama. I love the power of it, but again, I'd love it to be a little bit more tailored. And finally, we have Lily James at the 2023 Golden Globes red carpet. And again, I'm just going to refer back to Chanel. And I think that just one thing needed to be taken away before she left. Um, the one thing I did notice about this as well, and I don't know if it's hard to achieve because a lot of these dresses may potentially be borrowed. Um, so they do have to give them back. But one thing that really does annoy me with books on red carpet is when dresses are too long. And this, I think, just needed to be taken up just a little bit so it's perfectly coming down and like just kissing either the top of her shoes or the ground. Because I think that would pull the fabric down a little bit more and so it wouldn't scrunch it up. So I don't know if celebs aren't allowed to do it, but if they could just pin it up just a little bit for the one night, it would make such a massive difference. 
um, but I do love the color of this and the bodice is really unique as well so I wouldn't change too much about this sort of underskirt detail I would have it shorter so it would fit her perfectly um, but I love this sort of ruching kind of detail that she's got going on but I think it could almost just be going to one side um, so it's not as dramatic and there's not as much going on and maybe a little bit softer in the amount of volume of fabric that is in there because there is also so much going on in the bodice and the skirt could just be toned down a little bit but I think it would be beautiful if it was wrapping to the side flowing down and then just sort of being this over skirt again kind of design but a little bit less so not too much fabric going on and then also having this pleating detail just going across the body and that would sort of wrap around the back and then float down the bottom so she had this gorgeous train um, and that beautiful over skirt look but it was just a little bit tied down as well so um, yeah but it's still beautiful and the red color is just absolutely gorgeous on well, let me know what you think, if you liked those redesigns or if you just liked the original. Um, I'd love to know your thoughts. And as I said, no hate to any of the celebrities or the designers. Um, like I said, each design is unique. Um, style is objective. This is just a fun, creative experience. And so you can get an idea of what my style is like and how I would um, redesign these sort of um, creations as well. So let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you'd like me to do this again, because there are always plenty of those worst dress lists going around. So there's a lot to work with. And if you want to find out more about me, you can head to my website and it's got the link to all my socials as well. So um, until then, I'll see you soon.